Today in this 2009 Dodge Ram pickup, we're going to install part number BX1986 from Blue Ox. First thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the front plastic insert. There will be six push pins that you have to pull out. So use a small screwdriver to get them started to pull out the centers, then we can get the rest of it rivet out. Then we'll go ahead and remove the insert. There's some tabs on the bottom to pry up so we get them to break free. Okay, next we need to remove the lower air dam. There'll be about 13 push pins along the edge that we have to remove. Go ahead and remove the centers, pull them up, and then we can go ahead and remove the entire plastic rivet. Now on the very end will be a, a bolt that we have to remove as well. We'll go ahead and set this aside and we'll reinstall it later. Now we can go ahead and start installing the base plates. We'll be starting off on the driver's side. We'll go ahead and tip the base plate at an angle, then push it through the opening, and then up into the frame. In this case, it was kind of a tight fit, so we kind of had to tap it into place. And then it's a good idea to push it forward as far as possible. And then it's a good idea to take a look at the front to make sure it's level. And then we'll go ahead and use a clamp to help hold it in place. Now on the bottom of the frame, there'll be a rectangular structure. There's an oval hole that you have to ream out to 17 30 seconds. We'll go ahead and drill that out. We'll do this on, on both sides of the vehicle. Next we need to install the side mount plate. We're going to install it with all the hardware needed, but we're not going to use Loctite. This is just going to help align our part onto the frame and help hold it in place. So on a fastener going towards the front, they'll go into some threads that are built into the base plate. We'll install a half inch bolt and a lock washer. Going towards the middle hole, we'll get a half inch bolt and a lock nut. final hole will get the half inch bolt, a half inch lock washer, and a half inch flat washer. And then that will get a half inch handle nut that goes in the, on the inside edge. Once all our hardware is loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten it down. Once again, it's a good idea to make sure how everything sits good and it's level. On the inner side of the frame, we'll be using the base plate as a template. And then we can go ahead and mark and drill our holes. We'll go ahead and use our large drill bit to go ahead and find the centers. There'll be two on the inside edge we need to drill out and two on the bottom. Once our pilot holes are drilled out, we'll go ahead and drill them out to 1730 seconds. Then we'll follow it up with a quarter inch pilot bit. Now to get a hardware on the inside of the frame, we're gonna to have to draw an access hole. Then we'll follow it up with a one and a quarter inch hole saw. Now we'll go ahead and start installing our hardware. We'll go ahead and bend the handles on the handle nuts to put them in a position that we can work with them. We'll be using Loctite Red. From the outside, we'll go ahead and thread in a half inch bolt and a lock washer. 
and we'll get them started into the nuts. Once both are done on the bottom, we'll move on to the side and basically repeat the same process. Now we'll go back to our first three bolts that we installed for a side plate. We'll go ahead and disassemble them and add our Loctite and then reassemble. Once all our hardware is installed, we'll go ahead and tighten down all the bolts. Then we'll torque the bolts as specified in the instructions. For now, we're done for the driver's side. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. We'll go ahead and tighten down all the bolts. Once all the hardware has been installed and the base plate is in place, that will finish it for a dry fit. So we'll go ahead and remove the bolts one at a time, add Loctite and then re-secure them. Then we'll torque the bolts as specified in the instructions. Okay, now we have both sides done. We'll go ahead and install our safety cables. We'll go ahead and wrap this around the frame and then using the quick link, hook it up to the convenience link that's built into the base plate. When our cables installed, we want to make sure they do not rub against any hoses or moving parts. We'll do this on both sides of the vehicle. Now is a good time to go ahead and install a breakaway switch. We'll take the bracket that comes with the kit and we'll go ahead and bolt it to one of the holes that the lower air dam uses. We use a provided quarter inch nut and bolt. We also added a quarter inch flat washer to give it a little bit more grip on the bumper. We'll go ahead and tighten it down. And then we'll move to the top. We'll go ahead and install our breakaway switch with another quarter inch bolt and lock nut. These are both provided with the kit. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the air dam. Now on the hole that was used for our hardware for the bracket, we'll just simply drill out to a larger size to make room for the bolt. Then we can go ahead and reinstall the air dam with the original factory fasteners. Okay, we'll go ahead and take our plastic insert and put it up against our bumper. Then we'll mark out what we need to cut out to make room for attachment tabs that go into the base plate and also for a breakaway switch. We'll use a yellow paint marker to do the work. Once we have our initial markings done, we'll go ahead and cut it out. In this case, we're using a rotary tool. Okay, once we make our initial cuts, we'll go ahead and hold it in place. Now you may need to make some additional trimming to make sure it fits. Now the next step is going to vary with the type of electrical connector that will be used with the vehicle. In this case, our truck will eventually get a six pole connector. First off, we'll go ahead and find a location to mount our connector. Then we'll drill out a quarter inch pilot hole and then follow up with one and a quarter inch hole saw. Then we can go ahead and use the connector as a template and then drill out the five sixteenths. We'll also need to remount the holes in our six pole connector as well. 
Then we'll install our 516 bolts, one on each side. And then there's a metal sleeve that goes with it. We'll slide them over. And then put the connector into place. On the back side of the plastic, we'll receive a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Now we still need to hook up our electrical, so we'll leave our hardware loose for now. Now we'll go ahead and install our attachment tabs that go into the base plate. We'll align the end of the attachment tab, push it in, and compress the locking pin. Then rotate it until the locking pin goes into the detent. And that's what it takes to install part number BX1986 from Blue Ox on our 2009 Dodge Ram pickup.